hello Scorpio welcome to your reading this is as always a Sun Moon rising reading take what resonates and leave the rest you know it's a general read it can't possibly 100% resonate with everybody there's maybe a message in this video that you're meant to hear you're guided to hear you're guided to watch so here we go without further ado what's going on Wheel of Fortune. Oh, there's some changes. I'm kind of getting for some of you, it's even a marriage that is about to change direction. And some of these changes are for the better. Three of Pentacles. Well, there's more than a one-to-one -one basis here. You know, I'm getting a family environment here. And it's as if some of these changes, somebody here is not ready for it. Now, for the, for the singles of you, you could be dealing with somebody who is married and has obligations to children or somebody else or even a work situation. There's... A lot of intense emotions here with the Ten of Cups. There is a decision here and it's definitely on your happiness. You've been waiting for things to develop. You've been working like crazy in the past to get stability here. But it would seem that no matter what you do, there is... It doesn't emotionally fulfil you. A lot of you are getting ready to leave a situation, but what I'm getting is there's children involved, hence the delays. There's certainly obligations to other people, but there's a huge transformation going on here. And whatever you, whatever this decision entails, you're going to lose something that you value. But... There is love coming in. And, and kind of an emotional and spiritual freedom. There's expansion here on emotions and on spirituality. The old empress. You're getting ready to move you, you're waiting you're biding your time you're getting courage but with this wheel of fortune here it's it's like there's a power shift where there was a lot of outside factors controlling you or a certain person or a certain situation now it's it's swinging in your favor and now you're coming into a position where you have got the power to make this decision but either way, it's a decision on your true happiness. You're looking for emotional commitment. Page of Wands. There could be a child involved here. And, you know, there is responsibilities to a child. For the singles of you, you're dealing with somebody who is very young at heart. They think like a very, very young person. But there's a new beginning here. You have the Two of Swords. Mm. The thing is, your head and your heart are in conflict here. is an ending ten of swords and with this ten of swords you know this this it's inevitable it's this is something you can't avoid i'm getting here that a decision you've been putting off for a long long time for some of you because there's a child involved but for some of you it's monetary terms you know it's it's a 
it's a position of comfort, although you're not emotionally fulfilled. And now there's a decision here over what are you willing to give up to follow your heart? On the work front, I'm getting here that there's one or two of you, you know, want to want to have a baby, want to become a parent, and you must leave the work situation at least for a while, put the work, the career on the back burner for a while to become a mother. It's possibly a place where you've worked for a long time, made a lot of friends, you know, and it's kind of emotional leaving this behind. But there is some a lot of changes here. There's a judgment call. I'm even getting one scenario here where there was somebody you wanted to settle with you waited and waited and waited for them to commit. They wouldn't commit. And you've started to move on. And now... Mm, they want to come back. But there is, a, there is a major decision here. Life child changes. And at the end of the day, it's following your true destiny. It's what you truly want. It's what you've been wishing for. Uh, I say it so many times, you know, wishing for something and then when it actually materialises, not necessarily how we had hoped it would materialise or at the right time, you know, it's, it's the universe saying, here's your wish, but as far as you're concerned, now it's wrong time. And you're thinking, oh, now it's actually materialised. How do I actually feel about it? You know, as I say, I say it so many times, be careful what you wish for. You may just get it. Well, here I'm seeing a wish granted. And even where there isn't, you know, it's just a one-to-one -one relationship. Yeah. Achieving your wish, getting healing. There's some healing here because, you know, there's been betrayal. There's been a lot of cross words. It could even be the return of the parent of the child or a child. Mm. I'm picking up travel here. You're not sure about who, how somebody feels about you. You know, there's a lot of misgivings here. And as I say, either way, going on this journey this new journey following your heart's desire you're going to have to leave somebody behind sudden messages coming in unexpected and making some a lot of changes to your life make it, making a decision and acting on it You know, you're stressing what to let go of. You certainly don't want to make a decision that you regret. It is a lifestyle changing decision. It's a big decision, but you feel you haven't got the courage to make this decision, but you do. Because I'm kind of getting you're going to get backed into a corner spiritually and emotionally and you're going to realise you're going to have to make a decision. There's a person here who around you is, you know, very, very exciting, very attractive, but you're wondering about the long term, not just a quick fix. It's like some of you want a 100% assurity. You're not going to get it. There's no such thing in life as 100% certain. <clears throat> I'm going to leave it there. 
this is a difficult decision. You may want to take time out to think about it. A lot of you have been thinking about this for a while anyway. But it's coming to a point where action is needed. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.